Okay. Oh, he's missing it. He's missing a flying day. That's no good. All right. Are you belted up there, Alec? Yep. Good. Controls are free. Here, it turns neutral. Hey, Jared, how's it going? Good, good. All right, let me announce. I'll be right back. Fairway traffic, lighter 37 Mike, initiating winch launch, runway 30. This is a steep climb to 2,500 feet level. All right, Alec, you ready to go? Yep. All right. All right, winch copy. All right, these have been great launches. Uh, we'll, we'll take another one of those. You can may, maybe just give us a hair more uh, acceleration, but uh, make it uh, make it smooth. All right, we are set. Up slack, up slack, up slack. Go, go, go. Five degree angle. So, Alec, if you uh, lean forward a titch, if you're able to look out at the wing tip, you see the angle of the wing relative to the horizon. That's kind of an interesting view to see with the camera. Take a look at the other wing too. There you go. All right, cool. And we are coming up. You'll feel it get real soft in just a minute, right about there. And we are up. Bingo, off we go. Oh, we're starting to get some cumulus clouds. See way off straight ahead of us there. Now they're a little to the left. These puffy white clouds are just, uh, those mark the top of the thermals. So pretty soon we'll be able to see where the lift is. Come around here a little more. And uh, did you go up and some of the guys said they were up in small planes before this? Have you flown before in little stuff? Um, not just in small big, stuff. Just the big stuff? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, if you want, go ahead and take the stick with your right hand as we fly around here and you can feel what I'm doing. I'm looking for some lift. Your top right instrument's just going above the zero now. See that, the dial? Yep. Yep, so we're just, we're just nibbling away at a thermal. There's something nearby. And I'm going to try to find it. Maybe it's over here. So this is the game, we're hunting for lift. There it is, I think. Well, let's go this way a little bit. How about over here? Uh, nothing in here. All right, so Alec, uh, if you take the stick with your right hand, you still on her there? Yep. If you look at the horizon out there, you see uh, how the horizon cuts across your field of view? What are you lined up kind of with the yaw string when you look at the horizon? Yeah. That, that blue yarn on your canopy? Yep. So by, by changing pitch attitude like this, uh -huh. keep, keep the horizon right about where you see it. Right in there, yeah, right about there. So that'll keep your speed nice and constant. Oh, I think we're gonna hit some lift here. Yeah, look at your top right instruments. We're trying to creep up. There it goes, come on. Anyway, so you're flying, just keep the pitch attitude about like that. I think we're gonna hit a thermal in a second. There it is, there it is going up. Um, all right, I'm gonna come on the stick with you for a minute. Let's uh, see if we can circle on this one. I think we got a pretty good thermal here. Is this, uh, if I bank this deep, does it get to your head at all, or are you all right? I'm good. All right, good deal. So let's see if we can climb a little bit in this rising air here. Extend, extend your flight a little bit. There we go. See how that top right instrument's going up? Yep. If it's above the zero, that means we're climbing away. Our normal sink rate's about a negative two. There we go, that's better. So we're circling in a rising calm air, and if this were a good soaring day, we could actually peg that needle on the 10. Oh, we wow. go up at 1,000 feet per minute. We could beat the tow plane. If our tow plane were pulling a glider up, we could actually beat a tow plane up the cloud base in a good thermal. It's just an amazingly powerful place up here. It's just that it's invisible. People don't see it. I'm gonna see if I can find that thermal. I think it's right over here. Right over here. Ooh, I was wrong. 
So birds do the similar thing, right? Yeah, birds do this all day. Hawks, and pelicans, and eagles, turkey vultures. They're very lazy creatures, and they uh, they don't want to flap all the way up here so they can look for food. They just want to lock their wings and ride up for free, just like just like us, I guess. No. Well, shoot. I was hoping we'd get some lift. I don't know where it went. Maybe it's over here. Ah, there it is. There it is. There it is. Come back around this way. Now, are you going to come up for a second flight to do some videoing, or is this your one shot for the day? You think? I can do another flight as well. Okay. All right. I'll tell you what, why don't, good. Then why don't you take the stick right there again? Okay. All right. And you can practice making some shallow turns left or right. Just move the stick a little to the left. As soon as you're steep as you're comfortable, move it back the other way. All right. Good job. Alright, do one to the right now. And try to keep the nose just about in the same spot on the horizon as you go around the turn. Perfect. Yeah, just like that. Alright. Pull it back towards your body a little bit. Uh, love turns like that. <laughs> Alright, I got it. And yeah, we're going to bring it back around. Cool, that's like a, uh, a fair turn. I like that one. All right, we'll make one more, and then we're gonna get set up for landing here. These are too short of flights for me to properly instruct anybody on how to fly oh. these. You usually take things 15 minutes or so just to get the concept down. The kids your age, man, you guys get this so quick, it's just amazing. All right, we're going up again, good for us. But if I just dump the controls in your lap and say, okay, fly, you know, yeah. that's not much of instruction. Yo. So don't expect that you were supposed to do you know, it's supposed to be uh, Sky King in the first 10 seconds. That was good though. We're gonna enter the pattern here. And I'm gonna announce this. Fairbow traffic lighter, 37 Mike, left downwind, runway 30 Fairbow. Here we go. So I have a checklist that I do. It sounds like this. Flap set, undercarriage down. And, oh, there's a good lift. Oh, look at that, we're going up some more. Sheesh, now we go up. Look at that, man. All right, flap center carriage speed, trim, check air brakes. There they were. Look at land. Actually, today's going to be a pretty good soaring day in a little bit. Yeah, if you want to save your uh, flight, uh, second flight till near the end, we can go for a little longer flight. All right. I don't yeah, know what you got. I don't know what you got going on. Nothing. I think I think I have someone on the schedule for 1:30, so we'd have to do it before then. All right. All right. So flaps up your speed trim, air brakes work. Look at land. Here we go. Turning base for 3-0. Keeping my speed right around 55, 69, right there. Open up the spoilers. And as you've probably seen with the other people, I've been doing some slips in here. Nope. It's a maneuver that we use to lose altitude if we're too high. I kind of do that right here. Here's a right slip. Oh, sweet. And then we can bring that out real smooth. Open the spoilers. And we're looking good. And we're just going to try to get just the end of the runway so we don't roll too far. Right in here. shoot is once again right there we set the wing down we are home awesome isn't it cool yeah Here, i'll pop your canopy for you nothing swifts give that thing a swift everything pops out that's awesome so does your camera have sound or not yeah it does oh it does oh cool